and the trap is going crazy. It looks like we got something in there. The trap is like shaking all around. What's up guys, it's Jack from Grand Jack Outdoors. And today, we're gonna be doing some turtle trapping. But first, I need to tell you guys something. So a couple weeks ago, I went to a pond down the road and I saw some turtles and I thought, hmm, it would be good to get those turtles out of the pond. And the landowner wants them out of the pond because they're eating the minnows and they're just not good for the pond. There's so many of them. So we're gonna try to catch them and relocate them. Relocate them. And um, I built this trap and just threw it together. We got some wire, made four sides of some pool noodles. And I zip tied these boards onto the side so they would float up and the turtles could crawl onto them. And as you can see, both sides, one of the zip ties came out and then um, these boards won't float anymore. So we need to fix that. My plan is to get zip tie these back on then cut this pool noodle to where we can fit it on the sides of the board. So the pool noodle will just float them up to the top. So I think that'll work. Now let's get started building. Now I got this board and there's holes. Like there's one right here. And there's one right here. What happened last time, I think this board just got weak right here. And that busted through and the zip tie came through. So I'm going to drill a, another hole about right here. And if you guys are wondering what happened to my eye, I got hit with a frisbee. We got the board zip tied on, sturdy as can be. Now we're gonna take this pool noodle, we're gonna where it is. Right there. <laughs> we're gonna cut this pool noodle to fit the edge is of the board. So probably like right here or something like that. And then we'll slit it down the middle right here and then we'll put it over the board and we'll zip tie it on. So hopefully that'll make those boards stay up and float. We got the slit down there. Now we'll just put the board into that and close it up and then we'll run zip ties around it. Now while we're putting these zip ties on, we want to get these real tight. And these tool, this is a, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a zip tie tightener. And you put it on the zip tie and it can tighten it all the way down and then it gets it really tight and then it has a little blade that can cut it. I really love these. So this is what I'm gonna be using real fast. So we just got the trap modifications all done. I think it's gonna work. Hopefully it'll work and we can catch some turtles. So I'll flip you around and show you our final product. We got the normal cage and we got these boards that tied on there. Tied on there, both sides. I can still go up and down. So hopefully that'll make it float up and it stay up so the turtles can go on and I'll have some bait in here and they can jump in. And here's the other side. So I think that's gonna work. I really hope it does work. So I think I'm gonna get some hot dogs and 
clean up my mess and I'll put some hot dogs in here as some bait. We'll drive down to um, the road to the pond and we'll set this thing and hopefully we catch some turtles. We're down at the pond. We finally made it. Sorry for the wind noise. I don't know if that that's making um, noises in the mic because it's really windy out here. But as you can see the pond behind me, this spot is where I had it last time and I've seen a bunch of turtles right here. So I got the trap right there and we're gonna throw it out right there and we'll tie it up to the string. I got some hot dogs to put in there and hopefully we will catch a turtle. I really hope we do. Here's the trap. Oh, let's try it. It's over there. And it's really not a place that I can set you up. I'll try to do it one handed, but got, let me turn you around. We got three hot dogs right there. Take that trash out and turn it away. Well, it's not deep enough where I throw it, so I have to get it farther out there. I don't think it's quite deep enough, but if that doesn't work after a few days, I'll probably move it to a neighbor spot. Oh, I just saw one poke its head up over there, so. I think that'll work, but I'll, I'm gonna come here and check it. It'll probably be tomorrow, and I'll bring you along, and hopefully we have a turtle. We're, it's the next day, we're back at the pond, and we're here to check this turtle trap. Now, I didn't see anything when I first pulled up, because usually last time I saw a couple sitting on top of it, but not this time. We're gonna pull it in, I'll try to do it one-handed and not fall. Oh boy. Nothing in there. Well, I'll throw the trap back. I'll try to clean some of this stuff out and then we'll see you next time when we're checking the traps and hopefully have a turtle. It's day three of the turtle trap setting out here. And today I brought some new bait and I brought a chicken leg. So our trap is in there and it has been raining. So the pond's up a little bit and my string to my trap came untied. But I'm gonna try to walk out there and try to grab it. Let's see if I can set you guys up. There's our string. So my knot didn't come untied. The branch broke, so here's the end of the branch. Well, we don't have anything in our trap. That's a bummer, so we're gonna take this chicken leg. Throw it in the, and hopefully that will attract the turtles better. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this um, turtle trap back in the water and see if we can catch anything. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Um, I'm checking my trap and I actually see a turtle, just a little itty bitty turtle sitting on a stick up here. And when I pulled up, there was a turtle on top of my trap, but it jumped off back into the water, not, not into my trap. So that's a good sign. Now let's go see if we can get a good look at this little turtle sitting right here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there he went. This water is so clear. So pretty. Oh, yeah, 
we got one! Yeah! There it is! Yes! You see him down there? Awesome! That's so cool! It actually worked! Yes! We finally got one. It's not too big of a one. Yes! That's so awesome. He's still on the shell. That chicken leg helped, did the job. I'll turn you around and get a better look at the turtle. Oh, there he is. Awesome. Chicken leg did the job. He was just... He just jumped right into there. It's the next day and I'm checking my turtle trap and the trap is going crazy. It looks like we got something in there. The trap is like shaking all around. Pull. I'm gonna pull it in before something gets out because it sounds like it's big. I can hear it clawing on the... Oh. Oh, yep, we got a turtle. Second day in the row. Looks like we got two. Oh yeah, he's a big one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got two big ones. Yeah! Oh yeah, those are good to get out of this pond. Yes. And they have ate that chicken leg clean. Yes. See that chicken leg? And then there's two big. Looks like they're red ear and sliders. Awesome. I'm gonna walk up to the mule and get a bucket or something. Let's throw these guys in. Yes. Whew, I can't believe we caught two. Yes. I'm gonna throw them in this trap. There are two big ones too. Surprise that we got big ones. No wonder the trap was shaking so much. Pull this up on the bank. Got our two big turtles in there. I'm gonna take this raccoon trap, little box trap, and I'm gonna grab this one's going first. Just drop them in there. The other one. Ooh, this one's a little more feisty. Oh, that hurt. Don't bite me. There you go. Got both of them in the live trap. And then just close the door and I'll go ahead and put these in the back of the mule. That's our trap check for today. Pretty successful. That's three turtles that we've got out of the trap so far. And hopefully we can keep giving, keep catching more. I think I'm going to bring a, another chicken leg out because as you guys can see, that guy ate that thing clean. So probably bring another one out here. But it doesn't look like they did damage to the trap or anything. So my trap held up. I'm so excited we got two turtles to get out of this pond, and that's really awesome. As you can see, we ended up catching about three turtles, and I think the turtle trap did really good for how simple it is. So let me know if you guys are going to build you one. I would greatly recommend it because mine worked really good. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next video.